Hello, I'm Mike from Our Way Off Road, and today from the Mod Squad, we wanted to bring you a new upgrade for the off road trailer when it comes to the dwellers. And I'm going to show you what we start with and then what we're turning it into. And today we're going to be talking about the stabilizer jacks. All right, on all the dwellers, they come with the stabilizer jacks and that's what they do they stabilize the trailer and that's it there's a misconception often that these are made for leveling the trailer which you may get away with it a couple times but they typically break uh, the gears in here are not strong enough to be able to lift the trailer up and so they break if you're if that's what you're trying to do uh, and so we've had requested many times where it's like i want to level the trailer and my mice and me myself I would like to be able to level the trailer with these because it makes it a lot easier than trying to drive up on rocks and all that kind of thing or onto those Lego blocks, but also you have to store those, so it's just a lot more work. So being able to level the trailer with the jacks would be ideal. So we're going to go ahead and take these all off and replace them with some arc jacks that are actually rated to level the trailer. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's do it. If it's a, specifically a dweller, then you're going to be using these tools. It could vary, but I got a 5 8 and a 17. A 5 8 fits great on the front, 17 fits great on the back. All right, so just get your one wrench on one side, other wrench on the other side, and righty tighty lefty loosey. Now just get cranking. It is really simple, you know, you got just takes a bit of time just because you got all four corners to do the new arc jacks really will work with any of the Australian brands pretty much because they almost all have this mounting bracket which is a really simple bracket honestly it's all it is is it's like half of a C it's a C channel basically with some holes drilled through it so I've seen them on black series they're on the dwellers I've seen them on the opus brand as well patriot i imagine they're on mdc is too and some of those other brands so really any any australian brand is going to have it already so that makes it really easy if you're gonna if these are something you want as well if you're uh mechanically inclined or a fabricator you could make the brackets or you could go to a welding place and get them done we can do it as well. We have a custom welder in house, so we can make them too. So if you had like a trailer that doesn't have these brackets and you want them on there, it's definitely something that's doable. Almost got these off. They have these lock nut washers on there. And so sometimes it feels really loose and you can just take it off with your finger, but you can't. There you go, it's off. So now we'll go grab one of the new arc jacks and install it on there. Let's go do that. All right, we got our nice brand new arc jack. We're gonna go ahead and install this. They actually weigh probably twice as much. You can really tell how much more heavy duty they are. And if you ever do need to service them, these actually pop out and you can gain access to the gears to grease them or anything like that, which is really nice. So if you can see, they just, line right up with our old holes there we go Get my nuts started on the back you could always use an impact driver too it would be a little bit faster but i gave mine away to the last person who picked up their trailer <laughs> so i need to get a new one Ah, that one's nice and snug. Let's do the other one. All right, those are all nice and snug. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other three, and then I'm gonna show you how they work and how we can actually level the trailer. So stay tuned for that. All right, we got those old jacks removed, the stabilizer ones. Now we got the leveling jacks on here. Each of these jacks are rated for just under 2,000 pounds. So with the four, we're just under 8,000 pounds, which is well over what this trailer weighs. So we're able to level this. I always just get a drill because it's just so much faster. Yeah, you can use the crank if you need to. I just carry around a drill, so I have it. 
So you pull your lever, swing it down, and then we put this guy right here. And that's down. So I'm gonna put all four of them down. And now you can go inside, put the level down, or if you wanna add little bubble levels, you can do that too, and just work your way until it's all level. So super fast and easy. The other thing that's really cool, uh, which I'd always recommend putting, uh, you know, like a, a jack stand under here if you're trying to change a tire, but just to demonstrate how strong these are, we're gonna go ahead and crank up one side so you can see this tire come off the ground. All right, we cranked up both the sides high enough. That got a free spinning tire now. So I could potentially change that out. Like I said, I would definitely put another jack under there for safety reasons, but it is capable to lift up the whole trailer and just be floating on the, off the tires. Which means if you're off-road somewhere and you're somewhere kind of uneven and you really need to crank that up to get yourself level, this will do it. Those arc jacks are super awesome. Makes your setup for camp so much faster because you can just get to leveling your trailer immediately, not having to worry about driving up onto those little Lego blocks or rocks or something like that. So it makes that so much easier. If you're wanting to DIY it yourself and you got a trailer that these are just gonna adapt right to, go ahead and give us a call or you can email our parts guy, josh at rvsofamerica.com. Or if you're wanting to just bring your trailer in that you have a trailer for those, you can do that too. And we'll equip your trailer with the arc leveling jacks. It's a nice upgrade. Thank you for watching. And hopefully we can see you out on the trails sometime or going on a roamer adventure. Have a wonderful day.